Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, we're in very dangerous times in this country and I can't <laughs> state this enough times. They're gonna plan on to uh, put Trump in jail in September. Uh, if you look at the odds of who's gonna become president, Kamala Harris just shot up. Now that's neither here nor there. You understand these people have made it blatantly obvious that they're willing to do whatever corrupt means necessary to try to keep Trump from going into office. And again, I'm gonna be called a conspiracy theorist and everything else. Um, you know, this is one, it's uh, it's election interference and they've been doing this, but uh, it's back in New York again. This person's daughter, the judge, actually worked on the Kamala Harris campaign and this guy hasn't recused himself. Now, my thing about this is that, it is this guys, I've been telling you guys, these people, their handlers are a foreign influence. Hunter Biden just got ex exposed even more this week, if you guys have been paying attention. Um, <coughs> these people are operating from a foreign influence. I can't say that enough times. Um, these people, you know, in the news, they're saying that it's Iran that's trying to do all this stuff, hacking. Uh, Trump's campaign and whatever else, but um, you know, you just got to follow the money. You see the money does go to Iran. I shared uh, a while back uh, that a Iranian spy ring was found in the White House. You understand people like Kamala Harris, they made it quite known who they support. Uh, it's no coincidence that all these colleges today, all these kids that don't <laughs> don't even know their gender today are for some reason pro-Palestine, even though they'll be feminists and things like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This stuff is not coincidence. Um, I've been telling you the powers that be, America is a stumbling block in their way. If you can get rid of the main bodyguard of Israel, you know, cause that's what they truly want. They want world domination, but this is why you're starting to see these banana Republic type tactics that they're starting to use in our country, things like that. Um, you know, uh, weaponizing Department of Justice against Trump, uh, telling you that if you don't affirm your children's <laughs> gender, you know, and you're the parent, you know, they have the right to take your kids away, things like that. None of this stuff is coincidence. And I know people are still going to, uh, you know, turn to their emotions and their feelings and support a person who hasn't got one delicate vote uh, when she ran for president the first time. And definitely not this time as well. She was basically inserted and implemented as a Hail Mary. But uh, these people, they're still showing that they're willing to do whatever it is that they can. Now, Trump, he's already signified that he is going to go to the Supreme Court again because, of course, this stuff is unconstitutional. And these people, they're trying to tell you to be afraid of what Donald Trump's going to do, although he's already been in office and we didn't see this Hitler rhetoric before and dictatorship rhetoric before. But meanwhile, this is also... <laughs> While we have a state-ran media that clearly is biased towards Kamala Harris and the Democrats, you turn on any television show and any movie you want to watch today, you know, this stuff is basically indoctrination. Even the kids shows today uh, that supports a certain political side, uh, our Department of Justice, again, they go after people who are against uh, abortion, things like that, and they label them domestic terrorists. This is also parents. Uh, that were never informed that their child wants to go through certain procedures where that will involve chemically castrating themselves and other bodily mutilation. But again, we're scared of the big, bad uh, Donald Trump. Now, my thing is this, I believe the Supreme Court is going to bail him out just like they did with that uh, presidential immunity case that got thrown out in Florida. Um, but evil is very desperate right now. And evil so desperate, again, you have these feminists and whatever else, if they knew anything, because uh, they don't teach kids like history and things like that anymore. They teach you this nonsense that's not practical. And they teach you to put your focus on decadent lifestyles that, <laughs> again, are harmful. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is also a party that's being caught editing uh, news articles and things like that to try to put Kamala Harris in a better picture. This is another party that's got caught using AI to make her uh, crowds look bigger than what they are. You know, <laughs> uh, guys, I, you want to be a part of the banana republic, that's all good, you know. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, again, I think the Supreme Court's going to intervene. 
Uh, it's pretty obvious what they're doing. Uh, Fani again, and she was, you know, having relations with the other dude that was working under her. These cases, this is why it's had the opposite effect. You know, uh, everything they've tried to do, it's only helped Trump, guys. Um, and they're still continuing it because they're still showing you <laughs> that they're, uh, you know, their desperation. They have sat here and tried to gaslight people that Kamala Harris, who hasn't even done a sit down interview or nothing yet, was leading in the polls. But now it's coming out that that's not likely the case. And people were calling BS on that before. Even the past election, Trump got more voters than he did. Uh, against Hillary, against Joe Biden. And you're telling me that Joe Biden ended up getting more votes than <laughs> than Obama back in the day. And I remember how popular, how big Obama was. They really did a good job with Obama. You know what I'm saying? And regardless, um, you know, it, evil's just showing its desperate hand right now. Now, I told you guys about the whole Jezebel Ahab thing and how America's basically in the same situation as Israel was in when Ahab and Jezebel came into power. Another thing that a lot of people got to understand is we're also in a time just like in Germany right before Hitler came to power, guys. And the church, they did the same thing. They felt like they didn't need to get involved in the political scene. I wish they still taught history today. You know what I'm saying? Um, you would understand in a lot of these movies, although they don't make real movies anymore, uh, they're more like ADHD commercials. You know, for the most part, there's no character de development, there's no death, nothing like that. But, you know, these people, they saw this <laughs> radical man basically rise out of power, you know, and it was like a slingshot. You know, this guy was propelled backwards and all of a sudden just flung forward with such force and it just took the country by storm. We're pretty much in that situation right now. We also see that she has finally unveiled her solution for this inflation that she caused, by the way. Uh, you know, they want to ban <laughs> uh, price gouging and things like that. Now, it sounds good. This is just like when they, you know, pander to you in all other ways that they pander to you. You know, this is the party of happiness and joy, by the way. Uh, if you go look on my commu community tab, uh, <laughs> America, you know, that that one's easy to dispel as well. You know, you just look on there and it's not a conspiracy theory website that I linked, by the way. But, um, you know, if you look at countries such as Venezuela and the effect that this type of thing did, you're going to see that this, too, is not a good idea. Um, America is in a situation right now where you need to decide who you're going to serve. You understand? I know these videos get no traction. I know they do nothing for my channel whatsoever. Uh, and... You guys love my boxing content and you see the accuracy on my boxing content and my views on boxing are just as radical as this video may appear to you guys. But I'm telling you, my accuracy is the way it is for a reason. Do you understand? Um, I'm telling you, and I don't know how many times I got to warn you guys. <coughs> if you choose Kamala and what she serves, you're going <coughs> to... It's going to create an atmosphere of literal hell. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Um, you know, when you look up Jezebel's name, we did Ahab. You understand? Uh, you'll see that uh, it's it's got several different meanings, like without habitation, things like that. But Jezebel did the same thing with Israel when she got into power. Um, she made it where bell worship and things like that were equal to the worship of the, the, the Lord our God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you understand? And again, this led to Christians being persecuted, things like that. People getting sacrificed, more temples being built where we're passing children through the, you know, the fires of Moloch and things like that. None of this stuff is new, guys. It's not new. And just like Nazi Germany, right before Hitler rose to power, we're in that same position um, as well. And you guys, I, I just don't know if you're numb or it's more important to have your feelings affirmed or what it is. Uh, you know, you believe the TV when they tell you that Donald Trump's Hitler and you went and saw Civil War and, you know, um, and you believe that whole rhetoric, you understand? They too talked about Project 2025, they're putting this stuff in movies, you understand? and. They're telling you that inflation's actually gone down <laughs> today. You know what I'm saying? They're really letting you know that they don't think you're intelligent at all and they can just do whatever it is that they want. 
my video and the main point of this video is the powers that are behind them they're handlers because kamala harris and tim waltz they're bums i'm just telling you that right now uh they're not the brains behind the operation it's a foreign influence and i don't care what this does to me legally or what it does in my channel i'm just telling you what it is um they want america destroyed either way so when i say we don't need to promote violence even uh in the most dire times we really don't uh what these people are mostly uh underestimating is the lord our god the god of abraham isaac and jacob and they think they can actually provoke and they can actually uh, control his hand on the situation and this in itself is foolishness beyond foolishness in fact i can't even explain how foolish it is for them to even have the audacity to think that they can pull this stuff off, although they are pulling it off, you know. But um, if they think they're just going to waltz in, try to rig everything and continue to do what they're doing. And on top of that, the whole reason for the Trump thing is they want a civil war so desperately, guys. They do. They want us to start fighting and killing each other. And they think if they do something as drastic and as extreme, they've been trying to pull this this move, by the way. You understand it wasn't enough that they had to create a narrative for the january 6th thing you know and they use edited footage and whatever else that thing got debunked by the way uh it's not just that they also tried to have them assassinated guys uh <laughs> the incompetence and the level of incompetence you know none of that was coincidence but they're also going to try to take it further and they want people to turn to bloodshed you know any means necessary to get the united states of america out of the way so that they can continue to do their stupid plan. You know, uh, they're fine with it. If that means that we kill each other, you know, it's just gonna make their job easier. I'm telling you, do not get provoked into turning violent, guys. I'm trying to tell you, you understand. These people, they may seem big and bad, they're cowards. And to me, cowards are the worst enemies. But one thing about, we're gonna go back to lions and hyenas again, guys. Uh, I would say when you see a lion eat a hyena, that just means that, you know, they're in very desperate times. Because typically a lion doesn't even take much satisfaction in killing hyenas because they're such weak, cowardly creatures. You know, I'm telling you, these things are cowardly. These people are weak. They're bums. I would not even get pleasure from, you know, beating these people up or whatever else if I did want to turn to violence. They're bums. You understand? But cowards are the worst enemies because they're willing to do such drastic things to get at people. Uh, such extreme, deceptive, backhanded ways that, you know, trying to get at their enemies and things like that. And I've dealt with this in my personal life, dude. It's insane how these people think. I'm just trying to tell you from experience. But we do not have to turn to violence. And I'm telling you, whether they get us to knowingly sign away our, our rights and everything else, or if they can trigger a civil war, that is what they want. And they actually prefer the bloodshed, to be quite honest with you. They're going to continue to try to systematically destroy us anyways, regardless whether it's a new pandemic. You know, we're hearing about the monkeypox and whatever else. I'm just telling you, they forgot one part of the equation. Uh, that is the Holy One of Israel. And these people are quite stupid. Now, I'm going to be called the insane person. I'm going to be called the conspiracy theorist. I too used to, when people came at me with these types of messages, I used to call them crazy conspiracy theorists as well. You understand? I've been in that situation and I understand it from that perspective, but I know for a fact that they're messing with the wrong one. Do you understand? Uh, <laughs> if they want to continue this nonsense, if they want to have their, you know, nonsense, their perversion, their confusion and all this stupid crap that we see time and time again does not work, is not sell movie tickets, is not sell beer. Uh, it's literally destroying the country, the whole economy and everything else. And we're still going to have you clowns come in here and try to talk crap to me, whatever else, regardless of what's in front of your eyes, you know, right in front of your face. That's why I'm with me. You understand? Um, I'll never be for a movement like this. I never will. But... Even I know there's no reason to turn to violence against these types of bums. They would get outright slaughtered, just like Elijah slaughtered those 450 um, <laughs> priests and priestesses of Bell and Aster at their bums. So I'm just trying to let you know they're trying to provoke violence and they're trying to provoke bread, uh, bloodshed. You know, this is what the enemy wants. Um, you know, it's just like Balak and Balaam. You know, he tried to pay ba uh, Balaam to curse Israel and 
Balaam couldn't do it. You understand uh, what God has blessed? You know, he could not curse. And I'm trying to tell you guys, the enemy tries to get you to fall for a stumbling block for you to curse yourself. You understand? And that's all these bums can do. Um, regardless of what you're seeing on the television, everything else, um, I still believe Trump's going to be president. And uh, these people's plans, it's going to fail. It's just that simple. But I'm trying to tell you, there's no reason to go to violence, guys, against bums like this. And that is the main uh, point of this whole video. It's what they actually want, to tell you the truth. That's all we got for now. You know, I'll get my little 10, 15 views on this. That's fine with me. But just like I'd be doing unboxing, you know, when I told you so, I told you so, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.